Hello everybody, this is Jonathan Hauser with Cinemec, and I'm here to introduce to you our newest product, which is called Hitchcock. It's a mobile storyboard composer for the iPhone, and uh, we designed it for the entertainment industry to kind of streamline the process between uh, conceptualizing an idea and uh, either getting the idea to a storyboard artist or uh, actually shooting it, organizing your thoughts and whatnot. Um, I personally hate doing storyboards. I'm a horrible artist, so uh, any way to actually be able to get my idea out of my head on paper is is welcome for me. So hopefully uh, it'll be received well by you guys too. Okay, so now I'm going to take a few minutes to walk you through Hitchcock and show you kind of how it works. Up top here we have the quick nav menu, which is available at any time. Uh, kind of gets you through uh, the different views and allows you to import images either via your photo library or through your camera. You've got your menu over here. So uh, you can uh, obviously uh, create a new storyboard. Um, you can save it different names, load current storyboards. If you go in here, you'll see there's a bunch of storyboards in here already. Um, you can also export as a PDF. This is our final export procedure. I'll go through that later. And then also you can rename the storyboard here. So let's go ahead and rename this to My Sweet Board. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and close this. All right, so now uh, we just have to import some images so we can start playing with them. So we get all these images imported here. Okay, so once we've imported these, you can see there's a little button down here in the right, uh, lower right-hand corner, I guess. And if you hit that, it puts you into a full screen view and uh, allows you to kind of see the boards and rearrange them in a much easier fashion. So uh, these aren't in order that we want them to be, so let's go ahead and just drop them into chronological order right now. So I'm going to move this one over here. If you push and hold down, it breaks your, your panel loose and you can rearrange it. So uh, this one goes over here, like this. Creepy guy goes down here. We're going to duplicate this, this panel here. So we can get out of the duplicate feature and go ahead and duplicate like that. And then we'll bring her over here and bring this one right there. Okay, so uh, now we have a general idea of, of the order in which we want these boards to occur. Let's go ahead and pop into the panel view and we'll, uh, we'll start messing with these. Okay, so here we have what we call the panel view. And um, you can see some uh, new menu items popped up on the left, right, and on the bottom. Down here on the bottom is our default uh, panel view menu. So it will uh, return every time you click done or you try to uh, basically return from any, any additional uh, things you add from the side. Um, so down here you've got your scene and your shot um, markers. So you can go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and mark this scene one. And this will be shot one. Pretty straightforward there. And uh, the duration on this one, let's make this a little bit longer. Um, we haven't actually blocked this out, so let's just say it's uh, 10 seconds. Okay. So uh, we have several options here to choose from on either side of different types of markups we want to put in here. Um, the left side, you'll see uh, we have a little tag down here that says that they're all camera functions. So whether it be you're moving the camera, uh, actually physically moving the camera, or you're moving the lens, um, these are where you'll find all that stuff. So we have dolly here. Um, so this is a dolly shot. So uh, you can either do dolly in or dolly out. You'll see there's a green box around here uh, kind of marking the starting point. And if you click, you can move the red box, which is the ending point. You can also tap into the multi-touch functionality of the phone by squeezing down or, or uh, opening up. So uh, you know this shot would essentially start in a relatively wide shot and push into a medium shot. But since they're walking, that won't work. So we'll have to do a tracking shot here. So we can go ahead and remove that. Zoom, same type of thing, pretty much the same functionality, but just different markup arrows. And uh, tracking, um, uh, basically, uh, is you've got two boxes um, that are both changeable. So you've got your green, green box, which is your starting point. You can shrink that down. And then you've got your red box, which is your end point. So you've got your start track, which moves this one, and your end track, which moves this one. So you can move it around. 
start it here and end there. But um, this is probably what we'll end up using for this shot. So let's uh, move this back here. Move it in. We'll start there. We're going to end it right there. Okay. And so let's go into here. This is going to require a pan. So we're going to want to use this other function down here, which is our pan functionality, which is very similar to track, but it has a little pan text in the arrows. And you set the beginning and end points of the pan and tracks, or the, of, I'm sorry, of the pan. So you just shrink it down here. I'm going to start up here. And we're going to end the pan here. All right. So I want to show that there's actual... Uh, the girls started from a different point, wanted to start it from here. So what we need to do here is we need to add in another character, or two more characters actually. So we can come over here to our right, which is where our content is, and we can add in the people. And click on that. We've got a little silhouette so we can drop in. Um, these are obviously women, so you can click on female, and let's make it a profile like that. And we can shrink them down. And shrink it down. I'm going to put it up here. Uh, we'll make one more. And shrink it down. Woo. Okay. All right. So it'll start from the feet, follow them down to here, and then they're going to walk out of frame. I want to show a sense of movement here as well. So what I'll do is I'll pop in some arrows. So we can shrink these guys down. Like this. Put one more in here, like this. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. It's a pretty tight shot. I actually want to open it up a little bit. Let's make this a little bit wider. So let's go back. Let's click done. Let's go back to our pan. Let's make these these a little bit bigger. It's a little too tight for me. So I'll pan over and down. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, great. So we're done with that.